Hello, this is Oleg with OpenBOM and today I will show you uh, how you can create OpenBOM catalog from bill of material that you already created, for example, from CAD system. Uh, this is one of the very popular questions and we've been asked often how to do it. Uh, last week, enhancement of OpenBOM export and import makes this transformation very easy and simple because we are currently supporting uh, all properties import and export in OpenBOM, including thumbnails and images. So what I will show you now is that how I will take this bill of materials that was created from SOLIDWORKS assembly and uh, create a catalog in OpenBOM using this information. So first of all, before we go in the exporting and importing data, I want to talk about one specific property in OpenBOM that sometimes might have a different name. As you can see, this property file name is a unique identificator of the part and assembly in this BOM, but in fact in OpenBOM uh, this is a property, default property that called part number. We make it easier for you to understand and we call it file name, but we rename it technically, it's the alias of the property. So you don't need to know about this until you start transforming both materials and this is what we are going to do. So you just need to remember, this is the unique identifier of the, bill of mat of the assembly um, part in this bill of materials. So let's make an export of information. And uh, let's uh, decide, actually, you can select what information to export. So I want file name, thumbnail. I would like to have type, configuration name. I would like to put part number, but all other information is probably not so relevant for building catalog. So I keep it. And I will export multi-level bomb because I would like also to have part that in the sub-level. So let's put this information in Excel. And uh, now I got this Excel file, but I don't have Excel on my machine. I'm running on Mac, so I will be using Google Google Sheet. So I am going to Google, and I will be um, done uploading this file to my account. So let's upload this file and uh, create this uh, spreadsheet in uh, my Google account. So we got this bill of materials. So what uh, now you need to remember is that we can import this data in OpenBOM. And for our catalog that I want to create, this information is probably not relevant. And I also don't need this level property because level property is actually relevant only for bill of materials. So I can delete this column because I don't want, I don't want to have it. So everything else, I can do whatever I want. Actually, I can even create a new property here, a cost, and I can put cost information for some items, okay? So uh, the moment of time I'm ready to import, I can uh, rename it and I can call it the fun break catalog if I want. So that will be the name how it will get in uh, in uh, OpenBOM. So let's go back now and uh, navigate in OpenBOM to the dashboard and we'll use import function, import catalog from spreadsheet. So I will use an uh, option to import from Google Sheet. And this is where I will be looking for F1 break catalog. And what we will have now, I need to say file name because this is how the unique ID property is called in this Google spreadsheet. And then I click import and here you go. You got catalog with the information that was imported from the Google spreadsheet with some additional information that you added. So that's what we wanted to create a OpenBOM catalog from the data that was originally generated from CAD and saved as a bill of materials. So I hope you find it useful and for many of you who asked how to create catalog from bill of materials, this is the answer. So that was Oleg with OpenBOM. Talk to you soon.